So you have yourself a WordPress site and now you want to install our WordPress theme. First things first is go to your WordPress dashboard and log in. Next, um, if you have this link option here called change your theme completely, you can click that. Or you can go over to your appearance menu on the left and click themes. Now if you don't have the latest version of WordPress, I do encourage you to go and grab that. Uh, usually if you don't have it, there will be a little nag bar just up in this area that says you should update. It's usually quite easy to go and do. Okay. So then you, what you want to do is you want to use the install themes and then the upload mechanism. Select choose file and then find the easy installer. Now you, if you wanted to, you could try to install the full-blown WordPress theme package that we provide to you, but uh, in this case you're going to see here that it's it's almost 15 megabytes and most web hosts have a maximum file upload of 2 megabytes. Some have 4 and some even have 8, but very few have anything larger than that. And because we provide um, public domain images that are quite large so that you can use as a starter, uh, a lot of the size of the WordPress theme is taken up by that. The code files themselves are not that large, but um, some of the assets that we provide within that are. So that's why we include an easy installer package. And so what you do is you select that. And this is easy installer package is a um, streamlined uh, WordPress theme, which will then go and fetch the latest files from our server um, through another mechanism called FTP. So what we can do here is we can click install now. It's going to ask us for our FTP information. Proceed. So what it's going to do here is it, it's just unpacked this package. Uh, it's installed the easy installer and now we click activate. And what we do at this point, it's going to go and say, all right, thank you, you've let me uh, proceed. And we're going to need to connect once more to the FTP. Alright, so now that you have your WordPress site and you want to install our WordPress theme, we need to go about uh, installing that. So log in to your dashboard. And uh, what you want to do first is make sure you've got an up-to-date version of WordPress. There will be a nag bar here that will tell you whether or not your WordPress system is up-to-date or not. And then you can either click on this link if you have that or click on appearance and then themes. Now there are a couple things that could go wrong with um, your your installation at this point. So what we want to do here is we want to click upload and then we want to find ourselves the uh, WordPress easy installer package here. Now the easy installer package is a streamlined package with um, some core files that extend the WordPress system that go and fetch the latest version of the WordPress theme from our servers. We use it because the full-blown WordPress theme package is quite large. It's larger than um, most web hosts will allow through an upload mechanism such as this. So what we do is we provide a smaller package and then it uploads and then it goes and fetches from our server and then it does the install mechanism. Um, however, uh, you could try uploading if you had it the, the full-blown package, but as you'll see here, this is almost 15 megabytes, and most web hosts have a maximum file upload limit of 2 megabytes or 4 megabytes or possibly even 8 megabytes, but usually not much more larger than that. And the reason that our packages are so large is because some of the asset files, such as the, the photos and the images that we include, are a little bit larger, okay? And it's not a, a plain Jane WordPress theme. So we have the... Um, Easy installer selected, and we can click install. Now, what can happen at this point is, if your WordPress system um, or your web hosting system is not set up um, with certain permissions, it will ask you for your FTP information. You can just enter that FTP information in. So I'm going to click that. It has already found the FTP information because it's uh, the same user. I'm going to click activate. At this point, if everything goes according to plan, it goes to try to download the update from our servers. Um, the beautiful thing about this is that uh, if WordPress can determine its own permissions, it goes ahead and, and uploads and downloads 
into your system the updated WordPress theme, and then it does the final activation. Now there could be a hiccup at this point, and if there is, then you'll have to do what's called the manual install, but there will be a link that's provided to you that will um, show you how to go about doing the manual install. And at this point, your WordPress theme is, uh, is now installed. So at this point, uh, probably best to go through our introductory videos.